buttermilk fried chicken has to be the most popular dish across America. This is served with collard greens and the most amazing yam hash. First off, marinade. Now in here, I've got buttermilk, shallots, garlic, and onion. Pick up the chicken and place it inside the marinade. The buttermilk enriches the flavor and the texture of the chicken. If you can get this done into marinade the night before, it super tenderizes the chicken. If you can't, five minutes in the buttermilk, let it submerge in there all the way down. Once it's been marinated, it comes out of the buttermilk. Give it a really good shake. You don't want excess buttermilk on there, and it goes into a seasoned flour. Now this flour's got salt, pepper, and a touch of smoked paprika. Gives a little bit more fragrance from there, roll that around. Make sure that that absorbs all that flour. Now, I love my chicken crispy. The secret there is to dredge it twice. So it comes out the flour, give it a really good shake, it goes back in to the buttermilk. It may be a long process, but the labor of love is worth it because the coating on the outside of the chicken is mind blowing. Out of the buttermilk, back into the flour. Get your fingers in there and literally cover the chicken with the flour. You can see it looking slightly sort of scrappy. You want that because as that hits the oil, it blisters beautifully. Shake off the excess flour. Now we're ready for the fryer. Oil, really important. I'm gonna start mine off at 325. In she goes. Drop it in there nice and carefully. Always give a little five second break between putting pieces of chicken in there so as the actual breading sets and the chicken doesn't stick together. Now, just turn up the temperature for three minutes because the chicken's cold, so it brings down the temperature of the oil. I like to just gently turn my pan to make sure nothing sticks at the bottom. Any little floating bits, take them out. Those particles burn, and I want my oil nice and clean because it's the flavor that's left inside the chicken that you really want. Very carefully lift them out, drain them, and then on. Beautiful. But to get it even crispier and really beautifully moist inside, I like to finish mine off in the oven. Before it goes in the oven, I just like to season it just a touch into the oven for another six to seven minutes. Now, the yam hash. First off, get the pan nice and hot. Touch of oil into the pan. Get it smoking in with the yams. Beautiful. Onions in, salt, pepper, once you started coloring the yam, add your minced garlic. Be generous with the garlic. And then a little touch of butter, in she goes. This is where the yams start to take on all that flavor. It's incredible. Now we're ready for the peppers. Red peppers in, green peppers in. Touch more butter into the center. Turn down the gas and let that just sit there and sort of roast every five or six minutes. Clean underneath that pan so you've got that flavor coming back into the hash and sort of push it left, push it right. Every time you clean underneath that pan, you're taking more flavor into the hash. Gas down, let it sit there on the back, low heat. Right, chicken's in the oven, hash is on. Finally, collard greens. First in, the bacon. We want to render the bacon to get the bacon fat out. That gives flavor to the collard greens. Gently on the seasoning because it's naturally salted. Onion in and cook that down. A touch of butter. I will start off with a tiny drizzle of oil and then the butter. Oil in the pan stops my butter from burning so I can really maximize on the flavor. Bacon's getting really nice and crispy. Onions are caramelizing. Now, garlic. You can see what's happening now, look. It's all dark and crispy and caramelized. The crispier those yams become, the more flavor that's in there. Pat it back down again and let it caramelize and almost roast. Now, I've got the color on the bacon. I've got the fat being removed and the flavor in there is incredible. Garlic's caramelizing in with the collard greens. Now, these have been blanched very quickly for 30 seconds in boiling water and then sliced up. Drop them in, lightly season, and then give that a nice toss. Look at that there. To bring the collard greens to life, you could glaze the pan with an apple cider vinegar. That gives the collard greens its tartness and the flavor is incredible. Let that evaporate. Collard greens, hash done. To finish off the hash, once it's got all nice and sticky at the bottom, lightly sprinkle over the top freshly sliced scallions. And then just fold those scallions in at the end. That gives it this sort of freshness. Right, time to dress. Look at this. Halfway through, I rolled them over, so it got crispy on the top and crispy on the bottom. And there's one little trick I love doing. In here, I've got some pink peppercorns, black peppercorns, and the pestle and mortar. I just lightly grind. The pink peppercorns give it that kind of sweetness and that soft heat. Once you ground the peppercorns, get your honey and just drizzle the honey in to the peppercorns. This is an amazing way of finishing fried chicken. You've got this sort of fragrant, incredible heated honey. And it's got to be done straight from the oven because when you let chicken sit, it goes soft. And I want that chicken nice and crispy. From there, I've tied a little bunch of rosemary together. I just slice through. That's my brush. That goes into the honey and I brush on the drum, on the breast, 
and on the thigh. This is a really nice way of spicing up the chicken. Now to serve. I'm a big lover of eating healthily and well. So I love collard greens. Get that bacon on there. The smell from that apple cider vinegar is incredible. From there, a drum goes on first. Beautiful thigh. And then look what happens when I slice in to my breast. Oh, just lift that up and sit that in the middle. So just visually, drum, breast, thigh. The stickiest and the most exciting hash just gets dropped at the bottom of the plate. And then finally, get your brush and just drop little bits around. And just dab in the middle. And there we have my take, the fried buttermilk chicken.